This is part two of me talking about Latino identity. I had a little bit too much to say and so I needed to split it into two videos. If you haven't seen my first video where I talked about James Orday and his decision to reclaim the name Rodriguez, I've linked the video in the description below. So I'll move over to this post about being half Mexican like James Orday, but passing for white. So this person says that most people don't know if she's Mexican until she tells them she looks white, has a white last name, even though she's fiercely proud of her heritage, cannot fully emerge herself due to a language barrier, but she has all these unique experiences related to family and food and places that are related to Mexico. And she has family members that are affected by dangerous policies from the Trump administration and wonders how can she use her privilege to help and relates that after the 2016 election that her mother said that she was glad that she didn't look Mexican and it broke her heart. Like I've said, there's this white passing thing that people have an idea of what Latino looks like. So if you're positing a world where people are prejudiced against people that look Latino, then yeah, your mom's glad that you don't look Latino. And this woman has a brother who is darker skinned than her, which is very common. One of my aunts, there's a range of skin tones between her and her siblings. And I know someone who is dark skinned enough that he looks black, but he's Puerto Rican. And he has a sister who is much, much lighter skinned. It's not like they are from different parents. They are from the same parents. They're not half. They're a hundred percent Puerto Rican, but there can be a stark difference in what siblings look like. She says that before she started school, she spoke more Spanish and her skin looked darker when she was a kid because her peers would guess what her ethnicity was. She says heritage is more than language or skin color that she remembers, realizing that none of her white friends knew about the meatball dish her family ate weekly. Your family has different things that they eat. That's cool. El bondigo are very good. She says, hearing Spanish always brings a smile to my face. And her favorite place in the world is her grandparents' house in Mexico. I can relate to that. One of my favorite places in the world is my grandparents' place in Puerto Rico. But she says she can't deny that she's lucky because she gets all the perks of both worlds because she looks white, sounds white, married to a white guy. Like, what do you want? Like, you can't change any of this. You were born white. Your parents clearly didn't make it a priority to make sure that you were bilingual. And and you fell in love with someone who was white. Are you gonna go flog yourself every day? You know, beat yourself up for being financially stable? That is the most ignorant part of this post. Like, are you implying that most Latinos aren't financially stable? A lot of them are poor, but it's more just like they don't make a lot of money, not that they are constantly looking for work. That may be true of a lot of immigrants who are here illegally because there are a lot of barriers to them getting legitimate work. We're in 2020 now. Latinos have been here long enough that there are generations. So like this person who was born here, who doesn't speak the language, but they have this heritage, this Latino heritage. I try to use this privilege to donate what I can to important causes. Whatever helps you sleep at night, honey, you do you. And she tries to speak up when someone says something out of line. Hey, that's messed up. I hope it's enough. Enough for you to sleep at night? Like, sure. Being white passing Latina, I definitely walk among the white people as if I'm one of them, and people definitely feel free to say ignorant shit to you. I hate to use the word racist when talking about people being prejudice against Latinos because Latino race varies. So I usually use the phrase bigoted, ignorant. You know, my mother is white, but white, not Hispanic, but she is married to someone who is Latino. I remember one incident in particular where someone made particularly ignorant comments to her about Latinos without realizing that she was married to a Latino, even though she was like, you do know my last name is insert Latino sounding name here. Oftentimes when you meet people, you may not tell them your last name. And so they just hear your first name and then it comes up, me being Puerto Rican. And then people don't quite believe it. They usually believe it when I tell them that I am half, that one of my parents is Latino. And they're like, oh, that explains why you just look white. And I'm like, no, it doesn't because I know people that are full Puerto Rican that you would also look at and think they were white. And I know people that are half that look Latino. So me being half has nothing to do with you being unable to detect me being Puerto Rican. And then I think because they don't quite believe it, they feel comfortable to kind of just like pull out all these stereotypes about Latinos and dancing and feistiness and whatever. When I was younger, I was more of an angry person. So it kind of bothered me more. And then the older I got, the more I was just like, this says so much about you and very little about me. So I want to share this post, which I came across years ago. It was written in 2007 and I've saved it because I fucking loved it. It was just posted on this blog by someone who was reviewing Degrassi, the TV show that I was into years and years ago, but they happened to also be half Latino. They had this very like in your face, abrasive style, politically incorrect, 
act in a way that you could only get away with back in 2007. So she wrote this Hispanic people FAQ back when most people said Hispanic instead of Latino. She says, yeah, I look like I belong to a country club and sure I never tell people I'm Hispanic unless they ask, but I am. So it gives me instant street cred. A lot of people tell me, hey Lynn, you don't look Hispanic. Are you sure you're Hispanic? And after they say that, I stab them. <laughs> Hispanic is not a race, it is an ethnicity. That means that if I have blue eyes and blonde hair, but I say I'm Cuban, you should believe me. That's exactly what I've been saying, that it's an ethnicity, not a race. So you have no reason to believe or suspect that if someone tells you that they're Latino, just because they don't look like what you expect, that they're lying about it. Update your profile of what Latinos look like. So I love this question, are Hispanics loud? Because I had someone that I interned with years ago ask me this question, I think maybe after like the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York and asked me, why Latinos are so loud, and I gave her an answer that was very similar to the one given here. This is debatable. It has been my experience that a Latin person's loudness entirely depends on their family as a whole. If everyone is very chatty and outgoing, all of them will be loud. How else are you going to get someone to hear you over everyone else's arguments? Yeah, pretty much the strategy is to be louder than everyone else around you, or to disengage from the conversation entirely and just kind of sit quietly by yourself in the corner. Are Hispanics always late? I can testify to the accuracy of this answer. I can pretty much guarantee that if you invite a few Hispanic people to a party at seven, none will show up until at least 8.45. That happened to me when I went to a party with my aunt and uncle and they told me we were leaving for the party at noon and I think we left at four. And I was like, I'm very confused by this. Do Hispanic people smell bad? Depends on your definition of smelling bad. Most Hispanic men I've ever run across smell like an entire cologne store and usually leave a scent trail behind them for miles and miles. My theory is it's insurance in case they get lost and their wife has to find them. I've always thought that was hilarious. And I can also testify to the fact that many Latino men that I've come across smell very strongly of cologne in a really unpleasant way. I don't know if things have changed since 2007 or the last time I was really smelling Latino men, but uh, that was also my experience. Do Hispanics have bad tempers? My mother threw an empty coffee can at my head once. I think that answers your question. Yeah, Latinos definitely, definitely have tempers. I don't think they have tempers about everything. I think there are certain things that trigger it. It'll depend on the person, but when they do get triggered, it's like, yo, back the fuck up. Do Hispanics love to dance? We all love dancing. Sometimes we don't even need music. My mother dances to an invisible band that lives in her head. However, it does not mean that all of us can dance well. Our dancing ability rapidly decreases as we become more intoxicated. Quite the opposite for our Anglo friends, however. I don't know if non-Latinos get better at dancing the more intoxicated they get or if they just get more confident in their dancing the more intoxicated they get. I've never trained in any kind of Latin dance, but I know what I refer to as Puerto Rican family party salsa. The salsa from the streets. Very casual women can dance it with each other, you can dance by yourself. That's all I really have to say at the moment. Latino identity is complicated because it's an ethnicity and not a race. I didn't even really touch on the fact that the Latino identity isn't really a thing insofar as most Latinos identify with their country of origin. They identify as Mexican or Guatemalan or Ecuadorian, etc, etc, etc. Latino as a label only becomes useful when it comes to advocating for political issues, but there's lots of rivalries and shit talking and all that kind of thing. So it's not like there's a united front among all Latinos at all times. And most people will not identify themselves as Latino. They will identify themselves as their country of origin. Although I think that's changing with the younger generation, unfortunately, and this whole like Latinx thing, which I think I'll have to make a separate video about. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, anything you would like me to talk about more, it would be great if you would comment below or send me an email or DM me on Twitter, whatever you like, so that I I could have particular points to elaborate further on, but I will definitely make a video about my feelings about the term Latinx at some point, so look out for that down the pipeline. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I hope to have more content for you very soon.